I have always been a firm believer, and I've talked to a, a lot of law-abiding Hispanics that came here legally, that illegal immigration is the most offensive to them because they spent, one, so much money trying to right. get here and doing it the right way, that simply sneaking in should be an offense to all of them who came here the right way. Yes, and it is. And I think that's why we have more Latinos. We started an initiative called America First Latinos, um, where we are gathering Latinos in order for them to be heard. You know, our main mission with the Remembrance Project is to memorialize and honor and raise awareness, educate the public and elected officials about the epidemic of killings of Americans by people who should not have been in the country in the first place. Yeah, we uh, profiled a story about Bob Barry. He was an Oklahoma sportscaster. His wife, Gina, came on this program. Bob was simply out riding his little scooter, a motorbike, basically. He was going to run a few errands. He left his wife at home and said, I'll be back soon. Sadly, Bob Barry never came home. An illegal alien made an illegal U-turn ran Bob Barry over, killing him. Uh, of course, there was no insurance for the illegal alien, and then it had a tremendous financial effect, not just the emotional effect of losing your loved one on the Barry family. Uh, this is uh, his wife, Gina, talking to us a few months ago. This man who hit my husband was obviously working for somebody. Uh, we tried to, you know, we had some of my husband's friends who were attorneys. They unturned every stone trying to link him back to something because I didn't have uninsured motorist insurance and, you know, expenses. You know, we were just trying to get back to where he, where he was working and there was no paper trail. You know, people know what they're doing who are employing him and, uh, or illegals. And I mean, that's part of the problem too, in my opinion. Well, lives were clearly changed forever there, Maria. And a lot of this goes back just as Gina had said. On to the employers. If there's no incentive to come here, and the incentive is employers giving them jobs, fewer would come. I understand that this illegal that killed her husband, it was an accident, albeit a tragic accident, but he had been deported uh, on many occasions, right. and he never should have and been here. Our condolences first to Gina and her children and their entire family, and we are familiar with this case back in June of 2015 when Mr. Mr. Barry was tragically killed. Um, again, though, this is a microcosm of what is taking place all across the United States, shattering families. You know, now they have, you have four children who will be raised without the love and support of their father and you know, Gina without her loving husband. So take that and extrapolate all across the United States, and that is what's taking place, all 100% preventable grant. And that is why we, we are raising awareness about this terrible issue. And not to mention the billions of dollars it's costing Americans, taxpaying Americans. And even if we do try these individuals who shouldn't be here in the first place, again, we're re-victimizing the families. We are putting the, placing the burden on taxpayers when the elected officials are not doing their jobs, they're not even enforcing current laws, which is a very basic Americans are due and upholding our constitution, enforcing our borders. Yeah.